All right, Mark, hot off the press, breaking news. Angel Reese, LSU Tigers, just announced on X that she is bouncing to the WNBA. What do you think about that? No, my thoughts uh, were about that before we started uh, to, to, to talk about this, and I was hoping she would would roll out. I mean, I know <laughs> I know a lot of other teams wish she would roll out too because she's fierce competition. Uh, mm-hmm. But this is the best move for her. I mean, she's uh, she's already making money. It's not about I don't think it's about the money. It's about the prestige, right. about the next level competition, and uh, it's, it's it's a good thing. It's great for LSU program, but it's uh, it's great for the WNBA. Uh, this is this is a great step for her. She's accomplished everything she needs to accomplish in college basketball, and I don't know what else to say, man. She's a great player, man. I, I, yeah, I, no, I'm she, ready for she this. Accomplished, she definitely accomplished everything. She better get a mid range jump shot. Yeah, That's all she needs I'm to saying. work on that. Cause, she definitely needs to work on I, that. Like literally, I watched about twenty LSU games this year. Mm-hmm. I have yet to see her make one foul line extended mid range jump shot. Yeah. she's not going to be able to pack it in the paint and just do what she's been doing against uh-uh. WNBA players, right? Right. I know she's right. an elite rebounder. She's an elite layup getter. But that's, that's you know, come on, you got to do more than that, right? You got to be able to pull somebody out a little bit. So she, that's something she's going to have to really, really work hard on. In regards to just leaving, yeah, baby girl, go do your thing. You know, yeah. it's time. Yeah. You know, what, what's the point of staying around? She can probably make good money, you know, in the WNBA. I think her NIL deals, you know, were – Millions of dollars. Right. I don't know if she's gonna be able to make that in the. WNBA. She's capped out WNBA. I'm sure she's what two forty five. I think is the max rookie. she can she, make. He, right. She's gonna be on a rookie cap. Um, and who's to say next year that I think this year she'll be a top ten pick. But who's to yeah. say next year she'll she she won't be? I mean, she'll be a top ten pick. She make an injury. There's a thousand different variables, right? Right. So I yeah. I mean, it was it was it was an unbelievable couple year run with LSU. Um, and now it's time to move on. I think yeah. I think her teammates, because Flage, in the comments that we're making after the game, it sounded like she was about to leave. You know, yeah, and, yeah. Um, and so, I noticed that too. Hey, more power, more power to her, man. I think I think it's a, I think it's a beautiful thing, and um, she's what she's done is she's become extraordinarily famous to the point where she's famous outside of basketball. You know, right. people know Angel Reese outside of basketball. And once you transcend that, you know, you, you, you're on a different plane, you know. So hopefully she'll be able to um, do that type of thing and, and keep her star shining in the WNBA. Um, but she won't have that, that built-in fan base like an NCAA, a top NCAA women's basketball player or the yeah, LSU fan yeah. base. She won't have that. And she'll get that eventually. You know, wherever wherever she goes, whatever city mm-hmm. she goes to, she's going to have an instant fan base there. And then the embodiment of the WNBA itself as a whole will, will, will embrace her. Uh, right. And she, you know, I, I think instant. You know, when I think about her, I think about instant, I think about the Bad Boy Pistons. You know, with her image, uh, right. and she's a she's a, she's a tough tough old Barbie, and uh, she's gonna on, she's gonna do they, well. Why did they Why did they villainize her? Um, and really the whole LSU team they versus did. they they put Caitlin Clark and Iowa's team on this like angelic state. You know, they so did. why do you think that was? Why do you think the media portrayed them to like that? I think I look a lot of it, of course, unfortunately, you don't want to go down that road. But the racial issue uh, arises when it comes to that. And I think that's a lot of it What was that. And. Mm-hmm. Uh, she she mentioned uh, she mentioned how much she has been vilified, and uh, I think she even called herself the villain. So why do you think that Angel Reese was so vilified all these years, you know, these last couple of years, versus say a Caitlin Clark, and they try to put her like up on this pedestal? What's the deal with that, man? Yeah. I think we kind of know, but we you tell me what your thoughts are. Yeah, and you don't we don't you, you don't want to admit it, but you know, it's, it's definitely some racial motivation behind this. Uh, mm-hmm. And you know, I, I, I assume both parties know that. Uh, Angel Reese has just been a little bit more, you know, she's been a little more desensitized to it, I think. Uh, but uh, it's definitely uh, she's she's been vilified by by the press, uh, some bodies of, of, of Congress or whatever who uh, called her out. But uh, mm-hmm. I think she's been, been headstrong through the whole thing. You know, I mean, it, this that's right. this stuff she said. She's a young girl. You know, she's a young girl, still a college age girl. Coming out and had, f- facing all this adversity, uh, all this limelight thrown on her. I mean, this NIL stuff has just been thrust right. upon her. I think she's handling it pretty well. You know, by going to the WNBA, it's just, you know, she's on a grown woman level now, stepping right. that up. 
it's gonna make it a little a little better for our for her i hope we'll see yeah it, yeah. it just kind of i mean honestly i've never i, I i've been watching all these iowa games i haven't seen a black iowa fan yet no <laughs> they're, they're tucked in there our, somewhere <laughs> all of our iso swish iowa family out there right somebody step but up i just don't see any people of color um, I know there's a couple of girls of color on the team, yeah. but I just don't see the fan base. The fan base is very, very white. I mean, that's Iowa, you know. Um, yeah. And I think there, 100, percent there's some racial stuff going on. You know, you got Andrew Reese, who's a big time trash talking taunter. You Huge. know, the Draymond Green type versus Caitlin Clark. You know, white girl um, doesn't really say much. She just she cheers her teammates on her cell phone, but she doesn't really like taunt or anything like that. I think that's I think the media has picked that up, had picked that up, or has picked that up, right. and they've kind of run with it, you know. And I think to her to be villainized like that and sexualized um, is is kind of a travesty. And you're right, she's she's still a young girl. She's what 21, 22 yeah. at the most, something like that, and. Um, you know, she's trying to figure it all out herself, you know. So yeah. I think she has handled it relatively well um, on and off the court. And she's stepping out of there with a championship and with, like, you know, first team All-American and all this other, you know, all these A lot other, of pressure. A lot of like, pressure. Exactly. It's a lot of pressure. It's a yeah. lot of pressure. Um, yeah. So um, more power to you, baby girl. Do your thing. And we'll see you in the WNBA. On the other side.